um, sometimes we are too hard on ourselves for what we do. Sometimes what we do and things that happen are going to prepare us for what needs to happen. And that's change. Ever since that happened, like I really thought about it and I had to come to a realization that what if it's deeper than that? And something and a word that I always try to not only separate myself from, but I thought that I was too strong for that to even be in the spectrum of my being. And that word is anxiety. And when I go back and I think about the emotions that I was feeling at the time, yes, possibly it could have been nerves, but also at that moment, I could have, I could have just been having a freaking anxiety attack. I mean, the, the stage might have just been a little bit too big and the lights may have been just a bit too bright at that moment. I thought I was ready. I thought I was ready for that time on stage, but the moment was too big for me. You know what? Maybe that's what it is. And I have to humble myself to understand that and know that and deal with those feelings from that. And after I processed that, the information and the situation, I realized that, you know what? Yes, I might be suffering from anxiety to some degree. The experiences that I have went through, that I go through, um, and when you can't process this information and these experience verbally, to be honest, and I know I'm not the only person in the world that feels that way, sometimes you feel as though that you wanna process these emotions physically. You just wanna, okay, just say if you was a boxer, you just wanna go to the gym, and you just wanna just tear the bag up or maybe just beat somebody up and spar. You just wanna get those emotions out in their purest and rawest form. And all too often, that's how I feel because of the transgressions against myself. I feel as though sometimes like it's not even worth talking about it. Matter of fact, it is beyond talking about it. It's like you have to, you have to see me. I physically want to hold people accountable for what they have said and for what they have done. And I know that I may feel better, crazy as that may seem, which brings me back to the Will Smith situation. Now, after I get whatever off my chest, am I going to be in a position that I will be apologizing to somebody for my actions, for what I have done? But will I be right? Emotionally, I will be correct. Morally, I may not be correct. Which one will bring me greater joy and greater satisfaction? And to be honest with you guys, I honestly can't answer that question at this point. To be or sound mature, I would like to say, you know what, like morally like that, that wouldn't be wrong, but that it wouldn't be right of me to say because it wouldn't be genuine. And I'm not here to lie to you. I'm not here to lie to myself. It's one thing to be jaded or confused, but you should never lie to yourself because you are you. It doesn't matter if you go off of energy, you're a bit impetuous, whatever. End of the day, you do what you do because you are the one doing it. You are not a puppet. Nobody is pulling your strings. It doesn't matter if they flip that switch, push the wrong button, it doesn't matter. Nobody makes you do anything. If you do not have the willpower to put yourself in check and control your actions, that is nobody's fault but your own. So if I make somebody else have a bad day because I want them to experience what I'm experiencing and what I'm feeling, how I mean, how would that make me feel? Truly. Because in the spirit, in the heat of the moment, it always feels good. But see, to every cataclysmic event, as they say, there's the, af there's the aftermath. 
and somebody has to pick up the pieces. And some pieces may be too big for you to pick up. So, if you find yourself in that situation, what are you gonna do? 